I love you. You are my girl. See, I, 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 cause I love you. You are my girl. Store location. Ooh, I need this. They got everything, y'all. Three ninety nine. Y'all, ooh, they got a vino. Ain't this the stuff that they be putting on for drop? Oh yeah, let me get this. I think I seen Chelsea talking about this. Yes. come here. I don't know where the hell they getting this stuff from. But it ain't no fufu. I got a hair break. Wow. I got Olay. Oh, we got Palmer's. Crushed soap, eight bars. Is this a deal or not? Seven ninety nine. Mm. They got Palm Mitchell. Y'all know this stuff is expensive. Child, let me finish going through this stuff. But yeah, get here. Uh, I did not even know they had a whole baby section in here, y'all. Like. If you got a baby on the way, sis, get in here. Nursery stuff. Brand new clothes. Oh my God. Y'all. This little store is too lit. Y'all gotta. That is super cute. A baby shower to attend too. Oh my, look at this. It's brand new too. This is so stinking cute. Wow. All right, y'all. So I have made it back home. Quick update because I'm in the kitchen and it just made me think about it. I'm looking crazy because I don't got no lashes. But anywho. Y'all see those two pictures back there? This is the kitchen. It looks so much better with something behind me because that white wall was just like blah. So we have those two pictures. I actually got those from, where did I get those? Burlington. Burlington had them. And it was $50 for both of them. So they was in a pack together for $50. So pretty much $25 each picture. When I tell you a steal, love them back there. I think it just makes the house look so much more like chick like real nice and you know love it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put um 
what they call them? The um picture lamps. I want to put a picture lamp over this one and this one. I'm gonna order it off Amazon. Probably a gold one. No, I think I'm gonna just do black because gold is gonna be doing too much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a solid black and put it over both of those. I think that's what we're gonna do back there. But yeah, that is a quick little update that I just decided to give y'all because yeah, and I took the shelf that was right there. I ended up taking that out and just put the garbage can there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna just leave it like simple and clean like that, or if I'm gonna like put something else in here. But for now, I love this simple statement piece right here. Love, love, love. Um, some more house dates that will be coming up, but I haven't got some of my things in yet to share them with you guys. But I'm back home. We just got a car wash, as you guys can see. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm vlogging on my phone because my batteries are dead on my camera. And I was just like, I don't want to delay vlogging. And then next thing you know, we wait in another week or two without no content. So, um, that store, oh my God, y'all have to check out that store. If you guys are in Fort Lauderdale, Broward, hell, if you in Miami, drive down. Please do, because it's worth it. Um, they have a lot of items there for a really good price. So I did not intentionally go there. So I was not intending on spending no money. My intentions was to go to Dollar Tree after I left the car wash only to get me an air freshener because they were selling these air fresheners at the car wash for $5.99. And I was just like, sis, no, spray your little baby powder or whatever you be spraying in there. Cause this, whatever air freshener they use don't last anyway. So when I left there, I went to Dollar Tree and got me an uh, uh, air freshener, which ended up making me go there because it's in the same plaza. Um, so only thing I picked up was these two Alvinos, which I told y'all they were $4.99. So I got two. So these are a must-have. Like, oh my God. I Googled them just to see, you know, the difference in price to make sure I was getting a deal, which I already knew I was when I saw them on the stand. Uh, I see CVS have them for $14.99, and I think Walmart also has them for $11.99. So, baby, $4.99? I pretty much got two for the price of one. So, I absolutely love, love, love that. And this is something that I really need. I got two, but if they had more, I probably would have about four or five bottles. Um, I want to put one, like, definitely in the car and one on my truck at work because, a lot of times you take a shower, you got the shower and like my bottom of my heels, I sometimes forget to lotion or, you know, oil. And this is, yeah, a quick fix or, you know, something that is going to help you, you know, moisturize your body. And this one has oat oil and jojoba oil. So yeah, absolutely love this. I'm going to go back and check in because every week they get different stuff. And if they get more of these, just, just know every time I see these there, I'm going to rack up because yeah, $15 for one bottle. That's a steal. So I also picked up these two dial um, body washes because they were only $2.99. And I got the scent lavender and jasmine and spring water. Um, I've had these before and they were pretty good, but I'm really a Dove girl. Like everything I pretty much buy is always Dove deodorant, um, body wash, soap. Everything is always Dove. But for $2.99, I was just like, hey, can't beat it. So yeah, I ended up picking these up because I needed some body wash. There's absolutely nothing in there. Um, so yeah, my plans is I want to head down to this Sheen, Sheen, I don't know how y'all say it. Um, they're having a pop-up shop in Miami Beach. So I would have to go on the beach area, which I hate going down on the beach. Oh, my God. If you are from Miami, you already know we try to stay away from the beach because, yeah, the tourists, the traffic, people can't drive. It's crazy. So I really wanted to go. I actually saw it on an... Um, I saw it on Eliante's Instagram. And um, she had promoted that they're having a pop-up shop. And I want to go because when it's in, things are in Miami, we don't really get that type of exposure like Atlanta, Texas, L.A., like those cities. I feel like, well, those states, I feel like they, um, cities and states, rather, I feel like they get more exposure, like when it comes to like content and like brands and stuff coming to their cities and pop-up shops and stuff like that. Um, 
I don't feel like, well, let me not say that because we probably do have stuff here, but I don't think women of color are pretty much on the spectrum of influencing when it comes to like Miami. Um, so because they're coming, I want to go. I had tried to go to the Pretty Little Things shop because we have one on the beach also. I believe it's on Lincoln Road. But when I went, they were saying this appointment only. Like, they would not let me in the door. And I was just like, I thought this was just like a like a regular shop that you can just come and shop at. But that was not the case. Um, so I never did look back into it, like trying to set up an appointment to go in there and buy a few things. Because Pretty Little Things, their clothing sizing can be a bit difficult um i've bought things from there and i sized up thinking that they run small and it was too too big and then i bought things sizing down because they run big and it was too small so that's my love and hate relationship with pretty little thing is that i don't know my size <laughs> i don't so they be having some really 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 nice pieces and the girls be slaying but i'm always stuck between what size to order so i just stay away um so yeah, we may make it down to Lincoln Road tomorrow because I think the event is a three-day event. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So yeah, I'm thinking tomorrow I would try to go there and then um, we'll see what they have, what they, you know, maybe I can see, meet some other influencers or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, that's what's on the agenda so far, just that. Um, I need to get back into some more of the home updates in here. Like I told you guys, um, I did order a few things, have not gotten them yet. I actually looked up with that picture behind me. So I was excited about that because I was not looking for that. I went in there for something totally different. And when I saw that, I was just like, yes, immediately I need. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess I'll pick y'all back up when we, um, probably go down to Lincoln Road. And I also have to meet up with my friend Sunday. She also is interested in being a content creator. So I'm gonna go over there and like show her how to work her computer, um, show how to use the camera um, settings and how to edit and things like that, different softwares. And you know, put up on game about this content life and stuff like that. So that's what I'll be doing on my Sunday before I head back out for work on Monday. Um, but yeah. That's everything. Let me know if you guys like the pictures back there also. Um, maybe I'll try to show y'all a full view of what it looks like. I just don't want to do it yet because I got like four dishes on this counter that needs to be clean. And I'm just staring at them and they staring at me and I'm looking at them and they looking at me. And I'm going to handle y'all. As soon as I get off this camera, I promise I'm about to clean y'all up. But yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Once I straight up in here, I'll probably show you guys the picture, how it looks from the outside view of the kitchen area. Um, and yeah, that's that. I'll probably pick y'all up tomorrow when we go down to Sheen. Oh, oh my God, y'all. <laughs> what a way to start my week. Oh my God. It is 4.21 in the morning. No pickup at 5. I'm literally 10 minutes away from the shipper. And my truck would not move. The fucking trucks are speeding down the fucking highway. Y'all don't see the hazards light on? It's a two. Oh my God. This is the fucking scariest breakdown I've ever had. Oh gosh. I'm literally broke down in the middle of the road. Truck would not move. I don't, it's nothing on my dashboard coming up. I don't understand <laughs> why. I don't know. I really don't know. Try to push the things in again. Let's see. Oh, gosh. I don't know. It sounds like I got an air leak somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just put in my breakdown order, so we'll see what happens. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. And are you on the right shoulder or the left shoulder? I'm on the right shoulder.
your um, vehicle number is. Yes, that's correct. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know if they gave you a call before I, I did, but I told them that it would be within an hour. I've already called my driver. Um, I sent him the call, and then I just went in so I can um, put any little thing in there um, for when I called you. But I got everything, so um, I'll put it in there to call you when you're, when he's on his way, okay, when he's almost there to you. Okay, no problem. Thank you. No problem. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. So fucking scared. Like this is the scariest breakdown I've ever had. Because I'm literally in the street. Like I'm in a whole lane. And the truck will not move. And I know some people, oh this truck coming. Ooh, mm. I know some people do not pay attention. They be in their phones. I'm praying to God. Oh look, see? Almost ran right in the back of me another one that's what i'm scared of somebody running in the back of me like can y'all not see the hazard's license on like that's what i'm not understanding people really do not be paying attention while they driving Whew. i just got the phone with um breakdown they just tell me it's gonna be about an hour before the tow truck gets here so after googling i'm thinking that the truck needs um, transmission fluid because it has like a burning smell when I try to put it in gear and drive and um, it's like a jerking when I try to move it and the airlines like it's leaking like a tss, like it's making that loud hissing noise uh, whenever I push the brakes in oh my god but yeah, I guess I'll pick y'all back up uh, once we get to the dealership. That's another thing. I'm praying to God that they can fix this today if that's just an issue. And I could get back rolling, but I'm so scared. Like, this really scared me. Coming down the highway doing 60 miles per hour and your truck just go out on you. I'm talking about literally went out and the, the collision brake just kicked in and it's raining so the truck the trailer was slipping and sliding like i just was so scared because i did not expect that and like i told you know breakdown my dashboard is not lit up at all it don't say anything so that's got me you know feeling like it is um the brake fluid maybe it's too low you see, I really don't feel like dealing with no breakdown, especially with my dispatch because they always messing up payroll and everything when it comes to breakdown. So I'm praying to God they can fix this today and I can get back rolling. Whew, I'm tired, but oh my gosh, I'll pick y'all back up once we get an update. I swear, make sure my doors is locked. This is the scariest shit ever. When I tell you, and he's still back there, about three cars just slammed in the back of me. <laughs> I pray to God nobody don't get hit or get hurt because this is crazy. There's nothing I can do. I'm too scared to even put my cones out. But I'm not understanding how you not see flashes from back there. How? Like how? That's crazy to me. Uh, finally, the police have came. Uh, I'm happy about that because, whoo, people was really about to run in the back of me. So he said he's gonna stay back there until the tow truck get here. So I don't know. All right, this look like my tow truck. I am scared as hell. Please tell me this my tow truck. Does it look like it?
took about two hours and 30 minutes for him to get here, but the dilemma is now that he's here, he's gonna try to figure out about the trailer because the camera dealership that I'm being told to, they do not have space for trailers and I have my tractor and my trailer, so I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what they're gonna do about that, but I am glad that nobody got hurt. Nobody ran in the back of my truck. I didn't get hurt, nobody ran in the back of me. Whew, because that was definitely a scary, scary, scary feeling. And I'm going to pray for this man while he got to connect in his truck because he got to be out there while this traffic is passing to connect. And he got to disconnect my, I think, my axle and stuff. Not my axle, but my drive shaft, I believe. Yeah, he got to disconnect the drive shaft in order to tow the truck. So I'm going to pray that um, God, you know, protects him while he's out there doing his job. And we can make it to the Kenwork dealership in peace. So, yeah. The office is walking up right now. Let me see what he's doing. All right, y'all. So, I made it to the Kenwork dealership. And they are telling me that the parts should be coming in within the next hour or two. So, hopefully, we don't got to stay here. We don't have to go to the hotel or any of that. So, in the meantime, I went to my truck and got my charger my sweater because it's cold and i went and got these noodles which i shouldn't be eating but i'm hungry i've been up since three o'clock this morning and yeah so this is the microwave that i'm about to use for my noodles because i'm hungry we got a sink napkins so you want to make coffee and have complimentary coffee but i'm not touching that and then yeah, I got some comfortable chairs for the big backs, the big back truckers. And of course, they got their little stuff. And then we got a little restroom that's right in here, which I absolutely love that because it's literally, it's like you got your own little waiting area. So, and then we got a TV here. In case you want to watch TV, the remote over there somewhere, but I'm not really into watching TV. Uh, and the desk area, in case you got to fill out, um, paperwork or something so yeah so in the meantime i am about to make me some spicy noodles and then i pick y'all back up hopefully we're leaving out of here within the next two three hours um and then hopefully my dispatcher give me another load and then i can finish the rest of my week off because this was definitely unexpected so I don't know. And then I'll let you guys know what the issue was because uh, the tech isn't out there right now. They left to go get a part. So when they come back and the truck is ready, y'all know I always find out what was the issue so I can tell you guys in case you guys encountered the same things while you're out here. So yeah, I'm about to tear down these noodles and check in with my loved ones and I'll see you guys once I get the truck. Alright y'all, so my truck is ready. They looking for my truck key right now. And he just told me that my brakes went out. Bruh, when I tell you, <laughs> I was just sitting there like, hmm? He said, yes, your brake line went out. And I was just like, was well, is there anything that I could have done to prevent that? Like, is that something that I could have saw during the pre-trip? And he said, no, he said, your brake line hole had a hole about this big. I was like, that's big. And he was like, yeah. So they had to buy another brake line hose. But um, I'm waiting for them to get the key to the truck. And then we can figure out what my dispatch is going to do about me getting another load. But oh my God, let me know in the comment section if I have any truckers that's watching that has ever experienced that. Because when I tell you that shit was scary, I almost lost control of the truck. It was raining. And the brakes just literally went out. It went into... Um, collision mitigation the brakes just slammed completely out scariest shit ever um, but thank god I wasn't on the highway or nothing like that like I was coming like on a regular road uh, just thinking about it just got me like wow wow because that could have that could have caused a really bad accident and like you said, it wouldn't have been my fault, but still. 
Yeah, that man upstairs always had me covered. So as soon as they bring me my keys, then um, I guess we will. Um, you got it. Thank you. Hey, y'all. So I just made it in from work. Today was very interesting. <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm grateful. I'm blessed because, whoo. After talking to the um, mechanics at the dealership, that could have been way worse. Um, I don't know if I told y'all when I picked, got the keys that he told me that that was something that I would not have been able to prevent. So, whew, all I can say is thank you, Lord, because I just could not imagine um, that happening on the highway or something. And then, you know, somebody running in the back of me because of my brakes going out or me flipping over, losing control, because it was definitely raining this morning. But um, I also got my food. I'm about to make me some tilapia and some shrimp, jasmine rice, and I'm trying to see if I want either corn or broccoli. I haven't decided on which one. But yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, some of y'all have sent me some packages. I don't know who sent this stuff. All of it is from Amazon. I just picked them all up and I have a box. Another package right here from Ulta. Um, so thank y'all so much. I have no idea who sent this stuff because none of it has a name. It just says you love India. Maybe it's a note inside the bags or something. We shall see. But thank y'all so much. We're about to open them right now. Um, and I'm, I am going to have to update my um, mailing address again. Please don't kill me because um, the place where I pack the mail going at now, they're not open on Saturdays. And sometimes I run all week and I get in Saturday morning. That would be my day to pick up the mail. So it's an inconvenience for me because if I leave back out Monday, I, that's another week that it's sitting so i try to get y'all packages on time as soon as they send me the notification that you know packages have been scanned in i have mail in my um, mailbox but nonetheless i'll update you guys in the community tab about that with the updated mailing address as soon as i get that situated but um i have got some scissors hold on yeah. all right we got us some scissors so we can open these packages all it says is you love India. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Vagisil odor block. Daily intimate wash. Okay. That's weird. This says on peak fashion, baby hair tattoo. What the hell? I don't know who sent this, but I could tell you right now. girls use these but I never thought wow okay baby hair tattoo I can tell you right now I ain't using these and what else is this Clackers, get the gunk out. Okay, I would love these. I'm use these for the truck, for my teeth. This was weird. <laughs> and then we got another package. I don't know what this is. What the hell is this? Colgate. Colgate. I'm guessing somebody sent me stuff to have on the truck. That's the only thing I could think of. 
None of this stuff has like a Yeah, nothing has like a message because I've gotten packages before and it'll have like a note. And this does not tell me who this is from. That's crazy. So, okay, they bought me toothpaste, Vagisil odor block, some mint dental flossers, and some baby hairs. I hope they ain't trying to be funny because I'm going to go walk in. I find out who sent this and you trying to be funny. Trust and believe I am. But nonetheless, I got a package from my girl, Kirby Grace. So we're about to open this up. Let's see what this is. Label. Oh, it's a perfume. Burberry Goddess. Okay. I wonder what this smell like. Let's see. Thank you. Being Grace. My bad. I don't know why sometimes I keep calling her Kirby Grace. And that's because that was her first channel name. Let's open this up. Let me know if y'all have this also. Burberry Goddess. Ooh, big bottle. Okay. Yes. I can't really smell it. And I didn't want to spread on it because I need to take a bath. I just got home from work. Oh, this is so soft. Mmm. I like this. It's very soft. Kind of sweet. I love this. Love, love, love. That smells so good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to add this to my collection. Let me know if y'all have this. If y'all like this, then also. Okay. Mmm. That smells so good. All right. So, those were some weird packages. Like, I don't... I see why some uh, influencers, they start closing down their um, they boxes and stuff. Because sometimes people be sending some crazy stuff. But <laughs> nonetheless, so much going on. I'm about to get ready to cook me something to eat because your girl is hungry. I've been at the dealership all day. All I had was them pack of noodles. So about to make me something to eat. Take a bath, wind down, and get prepared for tomorrow's work day. I don't know what my day gonna look like tomorrow because I'm not pre-assigned to load. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and wind down and then, I don't know if I'm gonna end the vlog here depending on how much footage I got. Or I'm gonna keep it going, but of course, you guys already know if you love me like I love you, you already know what to do. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button while you're here. Also, turn on your post notification bell so that you're notified every single time I drop a video, yeah.